not that I'm always spot on time anyway, but uh, WrestleMania season tends to put a little bit more on the table, and uh, this year is no different, uh, maybe even more so. And um, coming back last night from being in L.A. for the uh, the incredible HBO uh, co-produced with WWE documentary on uh, Andre the Giant, uh, if anybody that... Uh, you know, hasn't had an opportunity to see it. If you weren't there last night, I recommend it. It's spectacular. Um, and um, anyway, here we are again at another takeover, WrestleMania season, takeover New Orleans. I really uh, feel like this one is something special. Uh, it's probably one of the most stacked, loaded uh, cards from top to bottom of established and new and just kind of feeling epic across the board, long-term stories that have built. And um, I just feel like this one is firing on all cylinders, and uh, hopefully everybody will agree after they see it. So with that said, um, you know, I'm sure you're all aware of the card. I don't think I know, need to go through every single match on the card. I'm sure everybody's aware, and I'm sure there are a lot of questions about it. So let's just, uh, let's just dig into it and uh, open it up to questions. Thank you. If you'd like to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. If you're using a speakerphone, it may be necessary to lift the handset before making your selection. As a reminder, please allow yourself one question and one follow-up per turn. We'll take our first question from Mark Mike Johnson with PW Insider. Hey, Paul. How are you, sir? Congratulations. Congratulations on winning the first question lottery today. Oh, geez. All right. Well, I, I don't know who you won money from, but thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the North American Championship. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yes. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the North American Championship. Obviously, you guys are going to crown the first champion to take over next week. What's the mindset be be behind adding a secondary championship? Is this so there's a second belt when you guys split the tours and NXT's in one place and at the same time they're in Florida, you guys can have titles on each tour? Or is this uh, perhaps a precursor to longer NXT TV so there's more, more goals for the different talents to chase? Like, what's the, what, what's the seed here of the idea? And is this a precursor for other changes to the brand? Yes. Very insightful. <laughs> uh, so you answered a lot of you answered a lot of that um, for me. Uh, look, there's a lot of reasons for it. The timing is right. The long term, to me, the North American Championship is a long term um, expansion play, much like the UK Championship is. Um, it is part of, to me, a long term. And when I say long term, I mean long term strategy play with the brand, and it's um, something that I see growing. I think it helps with a lot of the things that you mentioned, as you know, NXT is doing multiple tours and um, you know doing over 200 live events a year, doing multiple tours in in Florida and more and more um, out of state touring. It's doing international touring as the UK continues to evolve, which. Uh, I know you've saw, seen the announcement of Download and um, some other tours that we're going to be doing over there in Europe, but there will also be some follow-up announcements coming soon based around the U.K. and, and that championship. And um, it's, it's, all, it's all to me about long-term expansion, and sometimes I think it's difficult. People see it happen. They think about the moment now. Um, sometimes those expansion plans take a little bit longer than we initially anticipate. But all of these things are happening for a reason, and, the, and most of them are longer-term reasons, but they also fit the narrative of today, so it, it, it's kind of a, a, double, a double benefit. All right, I guess my follow-up is, are we looking at uh, a secondary title for the women in, the, in NXT as well? I, I think time will tell and see where we're at, um, you know, as, as far as the... Um, amounts and the, you know, I always want to make sure that the quality is there for the brand and that the amount of talent that we have <clears throat> within the pipeline is matching what we're putting out there for the, for the creative. And I just would, before I would do that, I would want to make sure that we had 
enough depth to it to make sure that it could cover all the bases it needed to cover. But absolutely, um, you know, I, I, as, as much as sometimes the strategic plans take longer than you would like, um, I also am very careful to not put ones out that we are pretty confident that we can execute in a timely manner. So you don't like them to take longer than they need to. So I, I wouldn't want to put something out there that wasn't the right fit immediately um, for the brand. That being said, I, I think all those options are on the table as far as I, I don't, you know, I just want to be clear, I don't look at the women's division any differently than I look at the men's division realistically. It's all about the amount of talent we have and then how can the talent fill the pipelines that exist, whether that be tag team championships, whether that be secondary singles championship. It, it just it depends on the amount and the, the what we have in the pipeline. All right, appreciate the time and I uh, won't take up any more of it. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. We'll go next to Jason Powell from ProWrestling.net.